Scratch any two-digit by two-digit multiplication trick and you're almost certainly going to find a binomial expansion. And that's exactly what makes this trick work. This 97, let's actually rewrite it as that 100 minus three. The fact that it was three away from 100 is definitely something we were using a moment ago. Similarly, for 94, we're going to rewrite this as 100 minus six. And we're gonna use my preferred tool for multiplying out binomials, something called the box method. We'll be multiplying the 100 minus three times a 100 minus six. And as we do this, we get 100 times 100 for this upper left-hand corner, which of course is 10,000. 100 times the minus six, which is minus 600. 100 times the minus three, which is minus 300. And then the negative six times the negative three for this bottom right-hand corner, which makes positive 18. As we add together, you'll notice, well, our total product is going to be close to 10,000 because both of the numbers we're multiplying are close to 100. That's the whole idea behind this trick. We're multiplying two numbers that are just under 100. We've also got two sets of hundreds that we'll be subtracting away. In this case, the 600 and the 300, which when we subtract that 900 total from 10,000 gives us 9,100. That's where the 91 in our product was coming from. And then finally, the only thing that's left for these final two digits is whatever the product is between those two values for how far away from 100 each of the numbers were. Six times three again was 18 and that is the final two digits of the product here. Finally, we can represent this in general for any two numbers that are close enough to 100, not just 94 and 97. Consider the numbers 100 minus A and 100 minus B, where A and B are small enough that our numbers would still be considered to be close to 100. When we expand this more general product using the box, we're still going to get a minus 100B, still going to get a minus 100A, and still going to get a plus AB, which as long as A and be our single digits is gonna be some two digit product. Putting this all together, we're gonna to have 10,000 minus 100 times A plus B, because we can factor that common minus 100 out of those two different products, plus the positive product A times B. And this will always end up giving us the final two digits of the product and the first two digits of the product with just some subtraction and simple multiplication rather than our long standard algorithm for two digit by two digit multiplication. There are so many uses for binomial expansions like this. Obviously, we don't typically do this just for multiplication tricks. More often, we're doing something with quadratic equations, but that is how the trick works.